बैक टू द चैनल गाइस ये वीडियो एक ब्लॉग नहीं है दिस वीडियो आंसर्स ऑल द क्वेश्चंस वी हैड प्राइड टू जॉइनिंग एस टीम प्रोपेल एल एनजी कैरियर ऐसा कोई वीडियो हमें नहीं मिला जो सिंपल शॉर्ट और स्मार्ट तरीके से एक स्टीम प्रोपेल एल एनजी कैरियर को एक्सप्लेन करे इस वीडियो में हम एक स्टीम प्रोपेल एल एनजी कैरियर के इंजन रूम का एक ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू देखेंगे कौन सी मशीनरीज होती है वो कहा प्लेस्ड होती है और उनकी एक सिंपल वर्किंग तो चलो पीपी पहन लो एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग दाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विदीडियो so let us start with the most important machinery that is main boiler in this ship we have two main boilers these are manufactured by mitsubishi heavy industries these boilers can produce superheated steam at maximum rate of 68000 kg per hour at 60 bar and 515 degree celsius these boilers have dual fired burners which means these boilers can burn fuel oil as well as boil off gas Colorful sensors you are seeing right now are flame eye sensors, which is very important part of boiler automation and safety system of boiler. These are highly automated boilers with numerous sensors and transmitters. Most of its operation can be controlled from ECR by burner management system, automatic boiler control, and automatic combustion control, with all the necessary safeties incorporated in it. Next machinery is the main turbine. Main turbine is manufactured by Hyundai Heavy Industries and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Though its size may look very small and compact, it produces 29,000 kilowatts at shaft RPM of 88. Superheated steam from boiler at 60 bar and 515 degree Celsius is delivered to high pressure turbine, which is a cross compounded impulse reaction type turbine through a head nozzle valve, also called as a head maneuvering valve. These turbines actually produce very high speeds of approx 5500 rpm. So reduction gears are required to make it suitable for propulsion. Next is one of the important machineries on steamships, main feed pump. For such high pressure boiler, you need a high pressure feed pump. In steamships, this pump is driven by a steam turbine. This pump is a multi-stage centrifugal pump. which pumps the feed water at around 80 bar to the main boiler placement of this pump is an interesting topic feed pump takes suction from deaerator which is a surface heater it heats the feed water up to 140 degrees celsius deaerator is placed at highest possible location in engine room do you know why is it so important for proper functioning of feed pumps if yes drop a comment now We'll talk about electrical power generation on a steamship. Main power generation is by two sets of turbo generators. That is a multi-stage impulse reaction type steam turbine driven generator. Each turbo generator can produce 3815 kilowatts at 1800 shaft rpm. This ship is also provided with two diesel generators as an alternative to turbo generator. The exhaust steam after producing work in the main turbine goes to the main condenser which is placed just below the low pressure turbine and is maintained under high vacuum condition to obtain highest possible plant efficiency it also helps to prevent drain attack on lp turbine by facilitating easy flow of exhaust steam to main condenser vacuum gets naturally generated due to condensation of steam but to maintain high vacuum we have to continuously remove incondensable gases by vacuum pump hence the vacuum pump is a critical machinery steam plant won't be able to run optimally without vacuum pump this ship is provided with two sets of vacuum pump manufactured by nash elmo the main condenser has a very interesting cooling system scoop system it scoops the water from the sea naturally due to its shape and design just like we scoop out ice cream from a tub this scoop system is efficient when ship is sailing above a certain speed but if vessel speed drops or vessel is in stop condition cooling is done by main circulating pump a very high capacity pump with capacity of 6000 meter cube per hour providing an alternative to scoop system at lower ship speeds next important machinery is main condensate pump it pumps the condensate to deaerator through a level control valve for main condenser level control of main condenser is very important for safe operation of condensate pumps avoiding cavitation and damage to the pump on steam vessels fresh water and distilled water consumption is very high hence production of distilled water becomes very important 
we have two types of distillate plants one of the distillate plant has sea water cooled condenser and other one has condenser cooled by condensate okay guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end i would like to thank subham malan and amit khire who helped me a lot in making this video possible i hope you like the video and if you did to subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one Change your